Baraka fi Yahweh, Baraka fi Yahweh Shai, Baraka fi Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rukakudash. Double honors to the oldest and apostles of Great Millstone, and enough respect to the brothers that are out there pushing and spreading the truth to the four corners of the world. And through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, I found this article um, entitled <laughs> "I Feel Ashamed." All right. Nikanan apologizes for anti-Semitic comment. Now, this was posted. He, um, he did this yesterday. Okay, so while brothers were saying, oh, you know, he found the truth. Is he about to take a step? You know, what is he going to do? He gave that very answer while we were making a video about it. All right. Now, um, I'm a little bit late on that, but, you know, we're still going to continue. And then hope edification goes out. Now, this... But we're going to go ahead and read and bring out scriptures. Nick Cannon has apologized for comments he made on a podcast that were deemed anti-Semitic and resulted in him being dropped by Viacom CBS. I feel ashamed, Cannon wrote in a series of social media posts on Wednesday. I extend my deepest and most sincere apologies to my Jewish sisters and brothers for the hurtful and divisive words that came out of my mouth during my interview with Richard Griffin, Cannon wrote. Continuing, it says, They reinforced the worst stereotypes of a proud and magnificent people. And I feel ashamed, I right, get this, I feel ashamed of the uninformed and naive place that these words came from. Okay? Now, the revelation of... of um, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans being, being um, the, the Israelites, okay, being the actual, what, 12 tribes of Israel, the biblical scriptures, the people that the, the Lord loves, the people that the scriptures are about. That, that revelation came from the Lord through the prophets. Now you have this man saying that he's ashamed of where these words come from. Okay, number one, he wants nothing to do with it. And number two, he's very, very ashamed of it. Okay. For Esau's approval, look at how far he will go. You are ashamed of the Lord. <laughs> Yo, this, this is crazy. Proverbs chapter 30, starting from verse 8. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me, lest I be full and the 90 okay now before uh, okay continue and the 90 and say who is the lord all lest i be poor and steal and take the name of thy the name of my god in vain okay now pro this, this is telling us that i um proverbs is saying like yo you gotta be balanced in this world okay riches of this world will do nothing but tear but pull you further away from the lord and we see evidence of that every day all these celebrities every single one of them all right they all know their truth they all know it but none of them are coming out none of them care about it because they don't want to lose that dollar bills they nobody want to lose that money they don't want to lose that house they don't want to lose that that the the, the, the the fucking cars that they have because what um like Zephaniah, um, Zephaniah, you're right, the, f the first chapter, verse 12. It says, um, And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their lease. That say in their heart, the Lord will do, will not do good, neither will he do evil. Now you go into that word lease. Lease is, um, but. Lease is something that is worthless, okay? In the eyes of that is worthless. Now, people, the, the idiom of settling, settling on, on, on your lease means this. This is what it means, okay? Um, it refers to the lease, okay? The sediment of wine or liquid that settle at the bottom of the containing vessel if it is not disturbed, okay? And you go to the images, this is what it is, okay? Lease, 
this thing right here that the arrow is pointing to okay now but going into it um, continue says hence the idiom refers to someone or something that is at ease not disturbed nor worried okay and what the only the, what what um what makes a person at ease what makes a person comfortable and at ease and, and not worry is riches okay we're in this world that is riches so even though the riches what is somewhat in this world is valuable to the lord isn't <laughs> it, it isn't valuable at all right so so what the lord will search out and punish all these men that are settled or the least all right why because uh, Matthew Select Bear with me for a minute. Right, this is Matthew chapter 10. Starting from verse 32. Okay. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. Okay, and when you are denied before the 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 the, the, the um the Most High, what happens? You <laughs> you die. All right, there is no salvation for you. There is no salvation for you. So when the Lord comes to destroy you, you <laughs> you you you're gonna get caught. When the Lord brings that destruction, you're gonna get caught in that destruction. All right. Hey, this riches man. This is why the Lord did not give um celebrities the truth. If they had it, man, they'll they'll be staying on it. If they had it, they would keep it to themselves. They wouldn't even bother going out. Cause as soon as that money is threatened, man, they shut they shut up quick. This is the spirit that they're all in. Okay. Um, this is Matthew chapter 19, starting from verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing should I do that I may have eternal life? And he, being Yahweh, I said unto him, The rich man, Why callest thou me good? There is none good, but one. That is Yahweh. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandment. Continuing, he said unto him, Which? And Yahweh shall replied, Thou shalt do no murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, honor thy mother and thy father, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Continuing, it says, The young man said unto him, all these things I have kept from my youth. What lack I yet? All right. What lack I yet? And Yahweh I said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. So basically, what this thing is telling you is that to be for this truth, you got to be willing to forsake everything. You got to be, especially. You got to be willing to forsake your riches. Now, it don't mean, you know, em empty out your bank account, you know, draw out all the cash in your bank account and fucking burn that shit, burn down your house, throw everything that you own. No, that's not what it means. All right. 
But everything that's dear to you, you got to be ready to sacrifice that for, 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 for what? For your how about Shimi how shy. Anything that obstructs you from it, from your how about Shimi how shy, you got to get ready to get rid of it. You got to be ready to get rid of it. All right? Because see, you are supposed to be for this truth. All right? So it's the truth first, and then you build your life around it. So er everything that doesn't work with the truth, you have to be able to, to do away with. All right, that is what it, that is what it means. That is how what you you bear your cross. That is the better part of this. <laughs> it's part of this work, man. It's part of this work. Matthew chapter 19. Right. But when the young man heard that, right, being, you know, get rid of all your possessions, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. All right. But when the young man heard that, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. The same spirit that these celebrities have, in, the same spirit that they have. They are not willing to give away this possession. They're not willing to give away cars. The something that can <laughs> that that doesn't last forever. Then said Yahweh unto his disciples, Verily I say unto you, that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. So based on that, that's what he said, right? And again I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle. Than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of uh, to, the, to the kingdom of God. Why? Because what you can like somehow finesse a camel to go through the eye of a needle. That's a small little area. That's a small passage, right? In a way, you can do that. All right. And then it's it. Although it isn't easy, it is much easier to what <laughs> complete this. Then for a rich man to forsake everything, all his great possessions, all right, for, for the sake of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, it is nearly impossible, all right? It is easier for this this to happen than, <laughs> man, yo, these, <laughs> yeah, that's why sometimes you gotta, you, you gotta thank the Lord, man. You gotta thank Yahweh Bashim Yahweh for this truth. You gotta thank Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for, for like the kind of situation that you're in. What allows you to be in the truth? That's also very valuable. You gotta, you gotta thank the Lord for it. All right. So don't resent the Lord. You know, don't try and pray to the Lord. You know, I'm in this truth, so I should be having, you know, you know, cars, women, houses. No, 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 no. Not, not all that. All that will hinder you from the truth. So you gotta thank the Lord that you don't. You're not so rich that you deny Him in front of men. And you're not so poor that you can't even focus on the Lord. All you got to do is find a way to eat. All right? You got to be thankful for that. You got to be thankful for that balance. So, with that, I mean, I, I hope the point went across. Hey, he denied the Lord, man. He denied the Lord. It's over for him. Okay? Well, he can repent. But the doors of repentance are slowly closing. It is slowly but surely closing. So with that, I hope brothers will edify, brothers and sisters will edify to the Akim that are listening. I want to say Shalom, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, all right, um, to the few Akwafs that are listening to. I also want to say Shalom, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Barakatha. So with that, until the next one.